All right, guys, I got this app to show you, and I figured something else, else out, too, about these battery backups. So there's this app called Galaxy Charging Current, and I got the light version. And basically, you plug it in to a charging source, and then click Refresh, and it'll tell you how fast you're charging at. So let me go ahead and show you my EasyAC here. I'm going to plug this into the uh, 1.3 amp out first. So it's got 1.3 amp out. That would be 1,000. 300 milliamps so we click refresh and we got 1580 milliamps that's actually a little higher than 1.3 which is good put it into the 1.2 and it's just a little lower let's put it into the 0.5 amp out 460 very close to 500 so this easy act is right on I mean it's charging a little fast but faster is better than slower the 500 is pretty darn close and you gotta expect this application might not be perfect either the new trend I found out isn't perfect we got a 2 amp and a 1 out amp so let me put it in the 1 amp hit refresh oops not sure if it was going there 1 amp looked like it looks like it's going just 460 so it's not going full speed let's plug it into the 2 amp And it's not it's either not registering or it's giving just that much. Let me try unplugging it and plugging it back into the phone because it's giving us the uh, same answer as before. And yeah, it's just giving about 460 as well. So it's it's uh, outputs are not giving what they should be. Now let's look at the Limeade. I'm disappointed with the Limeade. So let me put the Limeade into the uh, 2 amp out port. Turn it on, and we're getting 300 milliamps. I actually get that for every port on the Limeade. I noticed my Limeade takes about five hours to charge my phone. Oh, this port's giving 1600. That's the um, one amp port. So the one amp port is giving 1600. I guess that's the best port to use. The two amp port, oh, it's giving 1600 now too. Okay, so they're both giving the right amount. I charged my phone using this guy though. This guy took about six hours to charge my phone. This guy is supposed to be a one amp charge. Every time I test it, it was 300. Every time I've tested this one, it's been 300. So that's a third of an amp. It's supposed to be one amp. I wondered why it took six hours to charge my phone. So I wanted to show you guys this. Um, very nice little thing to test your power outage power chargers I found the easy act to be dead on exactly every reading was perfectly what it should be maybe a little higher than it should be which is good the limeade I found that most of my tests with the one amp out and the small small uh, tip here were pretty darn low around 300 milliamps but one of the plugs was giving higher this test I got both plugs to show higher maybe that was just a glitch but I'm um, very unhappy with the Limeade's built-in cable. It's been super slow. I gain like 1% on my phone every 5 minutes of charging. The new Trent usually did fine, but it seems like its outputs are a little lower than stated too. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the 2 amp one last time and see what we get one last time with the new Trent here. Yeah, and it's, it's been low around 460. This was saved from 460 from when I tested this earlier. It's been stuck on 460 every time I enter the program now until it finds a new reading. But yeah, for some reason, the new Trent only outputs at 500 uh, milliamps, just like this Easy Trent does on the 5 amp, 0.5 amp setting. But if you plug this in, you see, instantly knows it's 1500 like it should be. We're on the 1.3 port. So let's uh, try one last thing. I've got a new solar charger, which is supposed to charge it up to 1 amp. So 1,000, but 1 amp is uh, pretty, pretty much the max output. So if we can get above 700, that'd be great. So let's go try my solar charger.
so I think you could probably see that it was charging at a uh, 720 so this new solar charger I have is actually working it's charging higher than 0.5 amps so that's a good solar charger I'm using now I'll review that probably later uh, but I just wanted to talk about that app use that and test out your chargers pretty happy with most of them the easy act is perfect I'm really happy with this one the limeade was giving me bad results like I said on the on the attached cord and the new Trent was giving me this one's really old I've had this like three years but it was giving me low readings on both the outputs but uh, just check out that app if you want it's called uh, Galaxy Galaxy Charging Current Light free app pretty cool to uh, test your stuff with so I just wanted to show you guys that if you have any questions let me know we'll see you guys next time